Dear students, welcome to, welcome to EPG Patsala. I am Dr. Nandakumar from Terry. Today we are going to discuss about module Basic Concepts and Environment under the paper Environmental Biotechnology. What is Environment? So environment is just immediate surrounding consists of biotic and abiotic factor. So before that I am just explaining you what you will learn after completion of this discussion through this module. After completing this module, you should be able to understand the definition, principles and scope of environment to know this structure, function and role of biotic and abiotic factors. To realize the population ecology and interaction among the populations and also biotechnology for the environmental problems. So this particular topic also why you want to study this particular uh, basic concepts and environment. To understand this different composition and structure and function of this environmental system you will understand what is the technology or method required to manage these environmental resources and generate environmental product and safer or greener environmental uh, solutions. So generally environment literally means that surroundings including biotic and abiotic factors. As per the Douglas and Holland, the term environment is used to describe in the aggregate all the external forces, influences and conditions which affect the life, nature, behavior and the growth, development and maturity of living organisms. So what are the scope of environment? Generally if you talk about the scope of environment, it consists of four main segments which is mainly lithosphere where solid earth consists of minerals, earth crust of minerals and organic matter, air and water. Whereas other sphere like hydrosphere which is mainly consists of oceans, seas, lakes and rivers and steams, reservoirs, polar ice caps, glaciers and groundwater. And next one is biosphere. Biosphere always indicates the living organisms and their interaction with atmosphere, hydrosphere and lithosphere. Then come to atmosphere. Atmosphere is very important sphere where all the main gases takes place. Particularly major gases like nitrogen, oxygen, CO2 and trace gases. This atmosphere always appears in protective layer that surrounds the earth. So interaction among these four different segments is very important where abiotic and biotic factors interact within the system and maintain the environment balanced. This environment is very dynamic where there are different factors like air, water and earth environment which living together and tie with different technologies. Mainly atmosphere, hydrosphere, biosphere and geosphere which have very dynamic interaction among these four sphere and delivers and balance the environment ecosystem. So when we consider the interaction among hydrosphere and biosphere, there are exchange of biomass, nutrient and other gases. Whereas in between atmosphere and hydrosphere, there are precipitation, water vapor, hydrologic cycle, energy transfer. Whereas between atmosphere and geosphere, particulate mineral matters majorly exchanged. In case of geosphere and biosphere, obviously organic matter and nutrient 
will be exchanged among geosphere and biosphere so these all spheres have influence on androsphere where lot of biopolymers pesticides toxicants genetic engineering material will pose impact on androsphere same way hydrosphere transport the industrial water raw material hydro meteorological material into androsphere in case of geosphere various minerals raw materials energy waste which pose impact on androsphere there are different gases and gases pollutant will be interacted among atmosphere and androsphere so in any environmental study we should understand the interaction among these atmosphere hydrosphere and biosphere along with geosphere to understand the transport of various contaminant and its adverse impact on the androsphere what are the elements of environment environment is constituted by the interacting system of physical biological and cultural elements interrelated in various way individually as well as collectively so there are three different major elements which is contributing in the environment mainly physical element biological elements and cultural elements physical elements are space landforms water bodies soils and minerals whereas in biological elements mainly constitute of plants animal microorganisms and men whereas cultural element which are mainly economic social and political element are essentially man made features this cultural element have both impact on physical element and biological element so we, when we discussed about different spheres these all element have contribution in the biosphere atmosphere geosphere and hydrosphere what are the common features of environmental system before scientist goes into understand the environment there are different level of features in the environmental system these are all the different features is important to assess or predict the environment and which is helps in developing or understanding the environment so generally common features of environmental systems interact with physical chemical and biological social as well as economic processes for example water quality in the stream system relies upon land use and management in catchment area there are different understandings required in the environmental system where heterogeneity of the system features where environmental system vary both spatially and temporally spatially it is like with size and temporally means it is like time so we have to correlate within spatial and temporal system to understand the environment so example it occurs in various scales any ecosystem which occurs in various scales and various time so with time and size this environmental system or conditions or species changes take place and point number 2 is incompatible scales this mainly characteristic of temporal scales of these two system are very different so that a model link linking these two system will have to find a compromise between these two scales then comes to number 3 inaccessible or unobservable system process inaccessible or unobservable due to scale of component in very large or very small generally in this kind of system major environment consist of either very huge components and huge size which is very difficult to understand or assess the environment in this case generally oceanic system have huge composition as well as area like covers thousands of square kilometers what is the importance of organism and biosphere because there are living organism from the 
different range of bacterial species and different plants animal which have huge interaction in biosphere what we have discussed in earlier session here i am discussing about organism and biosphere this biosphere supports the organisms and living biological material these organisms plays a very important role in photosynthetic reaction and remove the co2 from the atmosphere generally if this co2 is removed from the atmosphere it prevents greenhouse warming of earth surface so these organisms responsible for converting atmosphere to an oxygen rich one which helps in maintaining environmental condition healthy environmental condition and influence these organism have influence in water bodies producing biomass required for life in the water and mediating oxidation reduction reaction in the water environment what all the indirect change of environmental chemical species among the atmosphere hydrosphere geosphere and biosphere human activities like this is called anthrosphere maximum take place in anthrosphere have strong influence on various process so example in human influence in the anthrosphere have impact on atmosphere and as well as biosphere so generally atmosphere already i mentioned there most of gases have interaction with biosphere so in this atmosphere lot of solid particles mist and air which evaporate and make deposition in the form of soil solid solution and release of soil water these again through different reaction through action of various you no know, natural and artificial man made activities these nutrients released into or absorbed or uh, form into different environment and it is sorbed by different microorganism this is called bio accumulation when bacteria or any microorganism accum accumulate these different nutrients and help in degradation of various pollutant as well as these microorganism present in terrestrial and aquatic ecosystem and plays a, play a very crucial role in the manage sustainable environmental system biotechnology of organisms generally naturally occurring microorganisms have huge beneficial impact on different process and product these organisms have capacity to produce various value added products enzymes and chemicals which have huge application in the present industrialization global whereas these organisms generally produce enhanced amount of product when it will be bio engineered through different technology with the aid of biotechnological application generally in this process bio engineering of organisms alter the characteristic of organisms and promise to results in more or efficient production of or performance of its activity in this bioengineering process generally host strain bacteria will be ingested with gene of interest that is potent bacterial gene that just that will be ingested in the plasmid that is plasmid of host and it is multiplied in the various large scale system and it will be used for large scale application like cleaning of toxic waste and basic other research activity as well as production of different value added product uh, what are the structure function and role of abiotic and biotic factors in environmental system according to ep odom the ecosystem is the basic functional unit of organisms and their environment interacting with each other and with their own components so this is the interaction among the system that is biotic factor and a abiotic factor which results in various process and components the main structure of ecosystem the organisms and physical features of environment including the amount and distribution of nutrients in the particular habitat 
all EQ system consists of following basic components which are called biotic compound and abiotic components. When considering the environment, this biotic and abiotic factors and within the factors interaction is very crucial. So to understand this environmental components like biotic abiotic system, we have discussed lot of uh, interaction among these system. But what are the components takes place in abiotic system? Generally abiotic system consists of physicochemical environment which is basic inorganic elements and compounds such as soil, water, oxygen, calcium carbonates, phosphates and organic compounds and co some of the physical factors like moisture, wind current and solar radiation also. The amount of non-living compounds such as carbon, phosphorus, nitrogen and other elements there are present at any given time in is known as standing state or standing quality. Abiotic factor consists of different three different major composition that is climatic factor that is high temperature rain and humidity generally these climatic factor have impact or influence on the other biological activity of the organisms as well as compounds that's why these variety of compounds and its activity in the environment is very important to understand which is helpful helpful in maintaining the system and as well as reduce the environmental issues so other components like inorganic substituents like carbon nitrogen oxygen co2 calcium these are all other inorganic compounds and organic carbon like carbohydrate proteins and lipids these three category of compounds is very important in category under the abiotic factors then what are the biotic factors biotic factors are three different groups which is producers and consumers and decomposers what are the producers these are all autotrophs where photosynthetic algae or hydrates or grasses trees that generate food or energy through bio photosynthetic process thus that details of bio photosynthetic process we are going to discuss in later how about consumers these consumers its primary producers that is mainly plants it produce it, it it consumes plants these consumers are called primary consumers followed by secondary consumers and ter ter tertiary consumers all kinds of animals that are found in the ecosystem coming under consumer category how about decomposers decomposers are microorganism basically this will utilize plant animal as a major food source and degrade these compound and generate again organic molecules or end product of co2 and water function of ecosystem these abiotic and biotic factor have major function in the ecosystem and maintain the balance in the ecosystem these main function is inorganic constituents like air water and mineral salts organism like plant animal and microbes energy input which enters from outside that is sun interaction among function, functional components primary producers secondary producers and decomposer these are all functional compound in the environment which plays a crucial role in environmental system management that is balancing so generally primary producer that is plant generates energy through photosynthesis and secondary producer these are all animals of all types grow and add organic matter to their body weight and complex organic compound taken as food so decomposer or saprophytic microbes such as bacteria fungi which decomposes plant and animal generally this decomposer 
eat decayed animal or plant material which is main source of food what are the principal steps in the operation of ecosystem and the interaction among biotic and abiotic components so these abiotic component like various minerals or physical factors like sunlight moisture which play a major role in to generation of food which is consumed or consumed by the consumers and further it decomposed by different bacteria or microbial population again these decomposition of these minerals by the bacteria or micro different microorganism then again these elements these different elements again convert into food through photosynthetic process by aid of biotic and abiotic components energy conversion and transfer by photosynthesis so generally plants and algae function as autotrophic organism which utilize solar or chemical energy to fix the elements from simple non living inorganic material into complex live molecules that compose like living organism so generally in this reaction generally chlorophyll that is present in the plants which absorb the solar energy that is sun from the sunlight and energize the chlorophyll and in with the aid of water and co2 it produce carbohydrate and oxygen aerobic and anaerobic respiration what is aerobic respiration this is degradation of biomass in the presence of oxygen so generally in this stage co2 and water will be re released in case of anaerobic respiration degradation of biomass in the absence of oxygen in this condition generally methanogenesis that is methane generation will be take place along with co2 release so both aerobic and anaerobic degradation get rid of biomass and return carbon dioxide to the atmosphere what are the nutrients and biogeochemical cycle these different biotic and abiotic factors which play a major role in different cycling system that is transfer of nutrient from one stage to another stage which is happen through different biological process generally nutrient cycle and bio geochemical cycle will take place under various environmental conditions nutrient cycles are nutrient cycles are broken down into three levels global nutrient cycle local nutrient cycle smallest common nutrient budget and fluxes whereas bio geochemical cycles which is circular pathway in which a chemical elements move through the biotic and the abiotic factor of an ecosystem generally major bio geochemical cycles are carbon cycle oxygen cycle sulfur cycle nitrogen cycle phosphorus cycle and water cycle these different bio geochemical cycle and nutrient cycle takes place in two different places that is endogenic and exogenic cycle generally exogenic cycle will take place in biosphere that is outside of the earth surface where biosphere atmosphere and hydrosphere involved here all exogenic cycle takes place in the aid of biological living system whereas endogenic cycle it take place in geosphere where soil sedimentary rock and various sediments formation will take place here also different biotic factor and the abiotic factor interaction will take place due to the ecological succession or interaction among the biotic and abiotic factors this term ecological succession succession has evolved this is very important in development or growth of any biological system in the biosphere so ecological succession is called process by which the structure of biological community evolves over time 
there are two different type of ecological secession that is primary and secondary this primary ecological secession takes place where there is no occurrence of ecosystem then after the development of primary eco eco ecological secession after, after period of time if any deterioration or degradation or damage in the system followed by after period of certain time again secondary ecological succession will start from the ecosystem so both primary and secondary ecosystem succession ecological succession is very important to balance the or to tolerate the unfavorable environmental conditions so main examples in this case is lichens or formation of soil in the uh, from the log, rock system that is primary succession population ecology that is mainly population ecology involved in major role in environmental system that regulate the balancing of microbial population as well as other living things so based on the interaction among the bacterial or microbial population or living organisms this interaction is divided into different categories that is symbiosis positive interaction negative interaction symbiosis again divided into ectosymbiosis and endosymbiosis whereas in positive interaction generally mutualism and commensalism will take place whereas negative interaction predation parasitism commensalism and competition will take place then come to symbiosis this is the part of mutualism or interaction among the population so in this symbiotic process symbiosis process an association of two or more different species take place so both there are two different type of symbiosis that is ectosymbiosis and endosymbiosis ectosymbiosis one organism can be located on the surface of another organisms in this case the ectosymbiosis usually is a similar smaller organisms located on the surface of larger organism whereas endosymbiosis one organism can be located within another organisms so another category is ecto and endosymbiosis microorganisms live on both inside and outside of the organism this is called ecto and endosymbiosis generally fungi in association with microbial um, that is mycorrhizal fungi association with endosymbiotic bacteria is very good example for ecto and endosymbiosis where this bacteria living on inside and both surface of the plant roots what is mutualism mutualism is the way two organisms of different species exist in a relationship each individual benefits from from the activity of other similar interaction within the species are known as cooperation generally lichens are the association between specific ascomyces that is kind of fungi and either green algae or cyanobacteria next come to commensalism commensalism is a relationship in which one symbiont benefits while others either benefit or harm another symbiont called host and sometimes these hosts become neutral so commensals are organism that benefits when the commensal is separated from its host experimentally it can survive without being provided some factors or factors of host origin commensalistic relationship between microorganisms include situations in which waste product of one microorganism is the substrate for another species commensalistic associations are occur when one microbial group modifies the environment to make it more suited for another organisms generally major example in this case is intestinal microorganisms in the human colon when oxygen is used up by the facultative anaerobic e coli obligate anaerobic such as 
bacteroids are able to grow in the colon. Then what is quorum sensing? This is the part of bacterial interaction which results in developing unique sensing compound which helps in identification of cell density and produ production of some different compounds that is metabolic compounds. So general phenomenon where by the accumulation of signaling molecules enable a single cell to sense the number of bacteria that is cell density. The microorganism produce specific auto inducer compounds and the as yes, the population increases and the concentration of this compound reaches critical level and specific genes are expressed during this time. So microbial community where produces certain metabolic compounds which signal other group of bacteria or species which help in production of various antibiotics and even formation of sporulation or motility or competence and even formation of bioflame. So quorum sensing process. In this many bacteria rely on quorum sensing to control the expression of genes responsible for diseases. So very important for pathogenic bacteria during infection of host that is human, other animals or plants to coordinate their virulence in order to escape the immune response of the host in order to escape establish a successful infection. The most common signals in gram-negative bacteria are acyl homoserine lactones that is HLS and there are different gram-positive bacteria often using a oligopeptide signals. Parasitism. This is part of microbial interaction among different bacteria or fungi or other living organisms. Parasitism is a non-mutual relationship between the species. In a parasitic mode of life, the parasites get food from the host. Many parasites have evolved to be a host specific. In such cases, both host and parasites tend to co-evolve. Example, Vampyricoccus with its unique ep epibiotic mode of attacking prey bacterium. That negative interaction among the bacteria or living organisms can be further classified into predation, parasitism, amenzolism, and competition. Androsphere. According to GIA hypothesis advanced by the British chemist Games Love Lock, organisms on Earth have modified Earth climate and other environmental conditions, such as by regulating the CO2 and O2 balance in the atmosphere in a manner conductive to the existence and reproduction of organisms. Then what is the relationship with atmosphere and technology? The ways in which humans do and make things with materials and energy. This technology is to a large extent the product of engineering based on scientific principles. The technology is being used increasingly to develop highly efficient process of energy conversion, renewable energy resource utilization and conversion of raw materials to finished goods with minimum generation of hazardous waste by products. Anthosphere is a repository of many of the pollutant by products of human activities. These human activities pose different toxic elements, reflective organic materials to the androsphere like painted surfaces under and adjacent to highways, under and adjacent to airport runways, toxic squares and indoor air pollution in buildings, radionuclide contamination of nuclear power reactors and landfills. What technology does for the solution of these different contaminants? Generally, application of various technology like bioremediation and bioenergy production technologies, even biosensor technologies can help in eliminating different pollutants from the environment. These technologies have possess problems as well as offer the solutions.
one important example of this is the redesign of basic manufacturing process to minimize the raw material consumption, energy use and waste production. What is the use of or application of these biotechnology or techniques for the elimination of environmental problems? Generally, using these biotechnological applications, we can identify or understand the aspects of nature and this is also done to identify or differentiate the population to ensure that are not risk of going extinct or determine the new species has emerged out of or from the different environmental system. And this biotechnological application help in developing biochemical engineering process products food products and marine biochemical product and environmental or molecular biological product from various sources. So various biotechnological application in school other than uh, developing signaling molecules or bioengineering products this helps in remediating or clean up the environment particularly Various bacteria or modified fungi or bacteria help in clean up the environmental waste. This bacteria turn the hazardous waste into non-hazardous waste through their utilization process. So generally lot of other bacteria or plants also reported to have capacity to remediate the various heavy metals are pollutant from the environment. So this slide shows how hydrocarbon impacted soil before and after remediation of back using bacterial system how it's remediated and it's how it's looking clean. So other applications like biosensors these bacteria are biological system can be used as a biosensor to monitor the level of certain toxic chemicals or some helpful chemicals or to monitor the level of certain biological entities that is kind of pathogens. So these bacteria or organisms can act as a biological indicators. Biofuels. A biofuel is a plant drive fuel that is deemed more environmental friendly that current fuel source as they all release less carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. Generally, ethanol, biodiesel, biogas are categorized under biofuels. The ethanol gen generated from different forms in placed in very many gasoline varieties. Whereas biodiesel prepared from different algae and other plant materials. Whereas biogas is generated from decomposition of different solid waste. There are different steps in controlling of anthrosphere to a more environmentally compatible form. There are source different pollution source which dumps the waste into the environment. This should be controlled by different processes like remediation or end of pipe measures. These process helps to close the pollution and close the loop integrate with total environment. So students let's now summarize what we have learned in this module. So environmental biotechnology that is basic concepts and environment delivers the following. In today industrialized world it is required to understand the environmental dynamics which helps in management of environmental and human health problems and to develop modern environmental technologies and integrated process to provide environmental friendly solutions or product for the sustainable development. Integrating the science and engineering application really help in greener technology to save our mother nature and its components. Thank you.